<clears throat> Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, this video is very special to me because it is about an artist that I have grown to know over the last year and honestly, he has impressed me with every single release. His name is Caster and recently he released his very first EP on Ophelia Records, which was a complete surprise because um, Ophelia is such an amazing label. Um, it focuses mostly on melodic dubstep and, you know, kind of like melodic bass, uh, you know, Seven Lions is the creator, uh, has a lot of great artists, but ha like having Caster being part of this family is such an amazing surprise because he is such a talented artist. And I think this, this EP really captures, um, like his feeling and basically his personality and his style in such a unique way. So I'll explain a little bit about Caster. Um, he pretty much came out of nowhere a year ago with a track called The Summoning, which was amazing, just completely amazing. And over the, the, the entire year of 2020, he's released um, several different songs, which are all also pretty great. Um, and it focuses, uh, it ranges from like melodic bass to, you know, harder, um, more darker, powerful dubstep. And with... Uh, uh, the Black Sands, he pretty much combines everything into an amazing work of art that uh, showcases all of his skills and also tells a magnificent story. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go track by track, um, analyzing some of the sound designs of the production, um, my thoughts about each track, and then come up with a conclusion. So let's start first with Ishtar, which I really enjoyed. So here we go. <laughs> So right from the start, Caster lets us know what this EP is all about. Ishtar is a magnificent work of art. Um, it has a lot of different things going on. So basically it sets up the theme for the EP. Um, so this EP is a little different from what we're kind of used to to Caster. Like he is, uh, like his whole theme is kind of like um, dark occult stuff, you know, like witchcraft and uh, he incorporates like a lot of those themes into his music. And this one, it takes like a, like a more, um, I would say like Middle Eastern approach to his music. Like it has a lot of uh, distinct features like from Middle Eastern music. Um, it kind of like it has like some it, like instrumental um, sections that sound from like a movie, uh, kind of like Aladdin or something. But I really enjoyed it. I think it's a very unique kind of uh, music because not many dubstep artists have experimented with this kind of sound. Uh, and I love to see this. I love to see like new kinds of influences in uh, dubstep and bass music. And Caster really captures that feeling that I was looking for. So Ishtar is pretty, it starts out pretty, you know, kind of like slow and then builds itself up to a really dramatic conclusion. Um, but it's really enjoyable. I think this uh, track sets a good start for the EP. And I really love um, like this direction Caster is uh, uh, is going towards, you know, to define his sound because 2020 is just only just the beginning. Like this is a very new artist um, and I'm pretty sure we're going to see a lot of him from the future, especially she, since he has released in Ophelia, which is a pretty big label and also in Subsidia Records, you know, Excision's new label. He released a song called The Lunar Ritual, which was also really enjoyable. And yeah, so basically he's just starting. But anyways, um, without further ado, let's go to the next song called Ifrit. So Ifrit is probably the most experimental song of the EP. It's so, uh, it has really, a be really beautiful sound design and it has, um, some really interesting things going on. Like in the beginning, it's kind of like, uh, it has like a strong start, you know, and some, like some bass sounds that's coming out of like the sides, like womp womp. And like, I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was, uh, it keeps like the mysterious feeling of the EP just flowing throughout. And yeah, it's pretty much like an instrumental, um, you know, experimental song that I, I feel, I feel like it really captures sound, uh, like caster sound uh, in a good way. Um, I love that he is experimenting with new styles of uh, music too. Like in the beginning, I thought he was going to be like another death step artist, you know, kind of like uh, Code Pandorum or, you know, like Marauda, uh, you know, like the Crow's Nest family. Like they really um, like that. That Those are some artists that really uh, specialize in death step, like those uh, darker sounds of bass music. But over the, over the last year, he has grown to 
like ex- really experiment with a lot of different sounds and you know kind of like craft stories with his music like uh like those themes like uh you know like witchcraft and the occult that he li- likes to to like show in his artworks and stuff and you know yeah you know like the song captures those same feelings but anyways let's go to uh, the next song called numb or Gnum. i have no idea how to pronounce it so i'll just do it both ways but yeah let's go So Num or Gnum is a song that I was really excited about because it has a feature. So it features an artist called Earthlinger, and I don't know who he is, but I I was excited to see this because um, so far, like throughout Caster's career, he has just like released instrumental songs, like songs without vocals. And a little while back, he released a tweet saying uh, he was looking for, you know, talented uh, vocalists special- specializing in like dark music. And I w- I'm really excited with how that's going to be like, because like he's, he's a, like a really talented producer. And I'm really excited to see how he's going to like incorporate vocals into his songs. Uh, I really hope he take like he takes like the like a path kind of like Swarm does. You know, Swarm is also one of my uh, favorite artists that makes kind of similar music. And they actually released a song together uh, that was really good. And yeah, this this song is really interesting. It, can, it continues the story that Caster is trying to tell us, like this, uh, you know, like Middle Eastern vibes that that is kind of flowing throughout the all like the EP. And it really reminds me like of a lot of stuff. Like it really conjures a lot of images in my mind. And I feel like that's the intention of the artist, you know, to make like like rather than tell a story, uh, let the listener imagine his own like story within his head. And it kind of reminds me of uh, kind of like H- some like some of H.P. Lovecraft's uh, stories, like especially the Nameless City. Like that's a really good story, and it kind of reminds me of uh, these themes throughout. So I was kind of imagining the Nameless City from H.P. Lovecraft, and you know that's a, it's a really good song, and yeah, I enjoyed it. Numb is really good. So let's go on to the final song, which is basically my favorite of all the EP, and actually one of my favorite caster songs so far. The curse. So here's the last song of the EP. It's called The Curse of the Silk Road. Um, I, I love the title. I think it really captures the feeling of the song. Like the song is uh, probably the most varied of all the other songs. Like it's really has a lot of different elements incorporated in. Um, it starts, you know, kind of like it has like a lot of melodic elements in the beginning, uh, in the middle. And then it just goes hard with, you know, like the dubstep and yeah like this is probably the song that goes out like the hardest of all and after that we get a side trance drop which is absolutely phenomenal i think it's some of the best side trance that i've heard in any um song yet so it was really interesting um i love the sound design in this one it's really catchy too like it's really replayable um so some of the other songs are kind of they feel like cinematic um, and they feel like they're there to tell a story, but this song feels like it's something you would play over and over again. And you know, like, uh, like your playlists or at the gym or in your sets. So I really enjoyed it. And yeah, like I said, the name is really cool. So, uh, uh for those of you who don't know, like the Silk Road was a trade route that ha- like went through all of like East Asia, um, all the way, like through China, like the, and all the way to the Middle East. And it was basically the main route for people to trade. And the title really makes me imagine like uh, some kind of curse in, in like the middle of the, you know, the Silk Road, like some like in, I don't know, probably the 12th century or something like ghosts that uh, or demons then come and take people away and like they're never heard from before. So there's a lot, a lot of uh, um, interesting themes going throughout. And I feel like uh, a talented writer could come up with a interesting short story for this. But yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. And I think it really wraps up the EP really well. Um, so let's go on to our conclusion. (laughs) 
Overall, I think the Black Sands really captures Caster's style. His, uh, you know, his, um, like his whole act is pretty much centered around these kind of themes. And I really enjoy them. I, I think this is a really solid EP, uh, debut EP for Caster because it's his first ever. Um, I hope he releases more in the future. Um, and also, I hope he gets some really cool vocalists for his future tracks and some really cool collaborators. Like uh, he made a song with Swarm, which was amazing. Um, I think he made a song with Code Pandorum, but it's only on uh, SoundCloud. But it's really worth checking out. I think Caster is a real, it's a really promising artist who shows a lot of potential for the future. And and yeah, overall, I enjoyed the EP. So as final score, I'm going to give it a 75 out of 100. I think it's really solid. I think it's a really great way to introduce them to new listeners through Ophelia Records. Um, it's a little different from what they're used to with all the melodic bass and like really uh, dreamy, magical. Like this, this offers like a really dark um, alternative. But overall, I, I think it's a good it's a good EP. So um, thank you, Caster, for such a great work of art. And I can't wait to see what's going to happen in your future. So anyways... Uh, peace out, and I'll see you in the next review. Bye.